so I don't know if I'll ever post this or if it's just for me, but I, I need to say this because uh, I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, I'm having a really rough time for a very long time. I've had problems with horrible deeds and drinking and lustful thoughts and all kinds of just shameful, shameful things. Things that I would never want to tell anybody. And I've been trying to better myself. And it's been seeming like the more that I have been trying the worst it's been getting. The more that I try to go this way or do this thing or whatever it may be, the more that it gets worse. And I finally decided that I wanted to ask God for help. And I didn't quite understand what that meant but I knew that God was real and I knew Jesus was real. But yet I was still trying to fix things myself, still trying to, to push my own narrative. Um, over the past few months, I've been going to a new church. Um, and from day one, it was It was real. I grew up Catholic and there's nothing against Catholic religion or anything like that, but I never felt anything. It always felt like, like I was just going through the motions and I never felt like there was any life there. So I've been going to a new church, um, called Revival Temple. And like I said, from day one, it was just alive. There was just, there was, I, I guess I have to call it like the Holy Spirit, it was there. I could feel it. I could, I could physically feel it. Like every time the service would start, everything that was bothering me would just disappear. And I would always be like transfixed on and whatever the pastor was preaching about. Over the past two or three weeks, maybe, I've been slipping up and I've been missing making it to the service and I've been really disappointed in myself. And tonight, for some reason, I, well, because I was so upset, I was determined to go. But for some reason tonight, and all of today, I kept hearing something say, please come, please come. You need to, you need to see something, you need to hear something. So I, I went and I'm still just thinking, oh, it's just me talking to myself or, or something like that. And from the moment that it started, it was like the pastor was talking to me. So much so that he even made an analogy about airplanes, which if you know me at all, I love airplanes. So he, he went a little bit over time, which I've never been there when that's happened. I, that's not very common from what I understand. But I was fine with it. I would have stayed there all night. And towards the end, he started to pray and he asked for people to go up to the front so that he could continue to minister to them. And 
I, I want it to go because I like I said I could have stayed there all night it's just transfixed like to the point that I was feeling tunnel vision and, and nothing else was there it was just me looking at the pastor and that was just it and it got to a point where he said everybody who wants to be ministered to come up here and I tried to move and I couldn't move I couldn't move at all. Uh, I wanted to, but I couldn't. And then he said, don't procrastinate, which is something that my grandfather used to say. He would say, don't procrastinate. And my legs moved and I moved. And the pastor began to pray for us and ask for people who were in the spirit to pray for us, to place their hands on us and pray for us. And I don't know who touched me, I have no idea, but I just stood there and, and listened and prayed. And it got to the point to where everyone was speaking and I could hear words and I knew, I knew what the words were but they didn't sound like words. It, it sounded, he mentioned that in the beginning of the service, speaking in tongues. If that's what, if that's what that is, then that's what I heard, but it was, I knew what they were saying. I just, it wasn't words. It sounded like mumbo jumbo, like, but I knew what was being said. And it got to a point to where my ears started to ring. I, I kind of started getting dizzy and I thought I was gonna pass out. And so I just continued to pray and I, I lowered my head and I, everything just, it was like someone was turning like a volume knob up. And it kept going up and up and it was just louder and louder and louder and louder. And then the ringing in my ears and the sounds of these people around me were like deafened by this laugh, like this deep guttural laugh. And it, it kept saying things and it would say like, this is ridiculous. Like this isn't gonna work. Like you have no idea. You don't know, you don't know. You have no idea this is not gonna work. And then very shortly after that, I closed my eyes and I saw this thing. It was, it was like, I, I, I don't know, like, it, like a lizard, like, I, I don't know, but its eyes were so terrifying. They were, they, it was like cat eyes and goat eyes and like snake eyes, like all, like, but worse, like all those together, but worse. And it was still just. This is a little crazy I hope I get this out. It was just looking at me and laughing. And then it went from laughing to screaming, like in pain, like in agony. It was screaming. And it kept screaming and I could feel it. My neck got hot, my chest, I like, I couldn't, it was, it was, it, I've never felt anything like that. I don't actually have words to explain what it felt like. But this thing was screaming and screaming and I heard something say, leave, get out, leave. And then all I saw was like white, just like a, sh like not like a sheet of like white, like as white as you can possibly imagine white. And then the pastor said, ah, this is where it gets hazy. He said something about give yourself to Jesus. Tell Jesus you will give yourself to him and he, you are his and only his. Something like that. And I forced myself to say the words. And when I did, I heard someone say, I love you. And it was Jesus. I'm still in shock. I'm still just, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. And 
I don't know if anybody else needs to hear this, but Jesus is real. And Jesus is the king and the Lord of all of this. Everything you see, he's the king of it. And I've always said that, but I've never, it's never been in my heart. I've never felt it like this. And I opened my eyes back up and it felt like just this weight was just gone. That was, uh, that was the single most amazing thing I've, I've ever experienced in my life. And I don't know who needs to hear this or if anyone even will, if I even post this, but Jesus is king. And he'd do the same for you.